morning and welcome to my channel. So today I'm working with my Like Forever June kit and this is going to be the last layout that I do get from this kit. So I've gone through the papers and I've cut any that can become 3x4 cards for me to do 3x4 cards. Um, and then this is all the scraps that are then left over. So I've taken the circle punches that I do have which are two and a half inch, two inch, one and three quarters inch, one and three eighths, and then finally a one inch punch. So I'm just going through all the different scraps of paper that I've got. I'm also going through all the branding strips and neatening up the edges of those as I go along. I don't think I end up using those. I definitely don't on this layout. I don't think I do on the rest, but it's sort of my brain likes to sort of tidy up and this is what I do when I tidy up um, is just cut all the pieces down to manageable or use them you know get rid of branding strips that don't work etc so I'm going through all those bits I've also got a piece of or two of vellum that I've used for backing photos that are left over and all mixed in so they get circles punched out of them too and as you can see, I've got quite a nice amount of circles there. I'm not quite sure what it is I want to do, but I do know I want to create something with circles. I must say that by the time I've finished this layout, it's not my favourite layout. Um, it's not my least liked either. So that's just a pre-warning for those. Uh, and then I went to punch a circle out of this last script, uh, scrap of paper, sorry, and realised that the word love was perfect still on there so I decided to hand cut that out instead and that will make part of my title. If not I was thinking it would be some sort of embellishment. So now I've managed to get everything done. I was, had a rough idea of making a circle from circles so that's what I started to do and using the selfie photo that my eldest took of the kids having pancakes when I was unfortunately at work and couldn't partake. But I did get a picture of them eating pancakes. So I've sort of got a few different pieces there. There's no real rhyme or reason to the way I've selected everything. It's just the way that it turned out. So I've got all those pieces about now. I did try some of the strips down the side, but found they weren't quite cutting it. and um, wasn't quite looking right. I tried it and then I am going to get out my ink and I'm going to go around the edges of each of these of which I won't bore you with um, because that is a very long process. So that's most of the circles now inked and stuck down. I'm going to pop my pitch on the layout just to the right of the circle just so that's the way most of the kids are facing so I did feel as though it needed slightly to be to that side. And I'm just going to tuck it underneath a couple of the little circles, just mingling in there at the bottom and at the side. And then I'm going to use the word love that I cut out of the paper as part of the title, and that's down the bottom. So I'm just seeing if a couple of these one inch circles that I have about will suit on the layout in any way, because I'm probably not likely to use them otherwise. So I may as well see if I can get them on the layout now. And then I'm just going to hunt out some uh, wax paper just so I can confirm exactly where I do want my title to go. But I'm bringing in the Bella Boulevard stickers in the yellow and my title is going to be Sibling Love. Not very imaginative but it works in the space and it brings that poppy yellow down to the bottom as well which I do like. I did have a look at placing it onto a circle so I'd have it you know, maybe move the word love as well, but it wasn't quite working. I also looked at filling that gap on the photo with some of the strips, but that was just too much paper in too many different varieties for my liking. So I'm going to pop the title down now. And that quite easily just placed down. Did have a look at underlining the title, and I will find something later that works better for that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to pull over my embellishments and have a look at what I've got just to give a, a little bit more definition and stuff to this layout. 
So I've tried the sequins first but found it was just too many circles. So I did pull in this pink heart from the Illustrated Faith Heart Collection and I did like the way that looked up in the top but then I spotted these chipboard ones that I've got from a past Studio Calico kit and found that those sprinkled about the layout looked a lot better. It gave us that pop of hot pink that is in quite a few of the papers. So in the end I will remove that heart from the top just because I've got all these other hearts in a different type of pink. So let's get those in the places that I like and get those stuck down. There's the odd little group of two which I think looks quite nice. And they're adhesive backed so even better and even easier to stick down which works for me. Check all my photo and title is straight, so apologies for my head getting in the way there while I make sure that's straight. And then this is now where I'm having a look for something to underline the title a little bit or just bring a little bit more down to that bottom corner. And I did pull off a washi strip. And that reads, we didn't realise we were making memories, we just knew we were having fun. And I end up placing that, after a few more other places, underneath the title. And then I pop the little heart to just join the two of those together. And it doesn't look from this distance as though you can read it, but you can read it really easy on the layout. And then lastly, I am going to bring in a couple of the wooden jelly beans words and get some more of those used up. So I've got things like cute, details, always, laugh and smile dotted about the layout and I get those stuck down. So I'd love to see what you create with your scraps um, and I hope you have had fun watching this layout and I'll speak to you all soon.